Today we are going to use ChatGPT to automate a simple boring task when creating reports for multiple, from multiple files. Uh, here we have a folder that contains monthly data with three columns, account managers, number of sales and amount. And the format of each file is exactly the same and only the numbers change. So what we want to do is combine the data in one file that will further be used for analysis for the whole year. The boring way of doing this, of course, is to copy and paste the data from each file, but let's see if ChatGPT will be able to automate this task. So the first thing to do is to think about all the steps that you would do manually and try to explain that to ChatGPT. So uh, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write a VBA script that will copy column A, B and C without the first row because we only want uh, one header row into the new file and to do this for all the Excel files in the folder. Then to paste it in this one uh, main file and uh, one below the other so they are all grouped together. Also in each row in column D I wanted to write the name of the file where it was copied from. After the code is written, all we have to do is copy it in the VBA of the desired file uh, by clicking Alt plus F11 and just change the path to the folder where all the files are. Be careful uh, to keep the last dash in the path and uh, then just click Run. As you can see, uh, it kind of did what I wanted, but only filled the column D for the first row of each file. So I'll ask it to adjust the script and fill that information for each row. So let's see what happens. ChatGPT remembers the previous code and will be able to adjust it if you tell him to do that. So you don't have to start the whole process from the beginning. After ChatGPT is done, we will repeat the process to paste the code into VBA and make sure the correct folder path is in the code. As we can see, uh, now it did fill all the rows, but it seems it also copied the information to column E and F, which is a quick fix and we can do it uh, quickly manually. Additionally, maybe we would uh, want to remove the file extension in column D, so the data looks cleaner. And we could ask ChatGPT, uh, instead of manually changing the folder path in the script, to bring a pop-up window where we can just browse the folder, which will be way cooler. But maybe we can do that in another video. Uh, for now, this works great for me. Hope you like this example. If so, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what other tasks you are trying to automate. Maybe we will make a video about it.